Now, a lavish birthday party for a 10-year-old girl recently made headlines in the southern city of Nanjing. The guests included all the girls' 37 classmates and their parents. There were plenty of giveaways too, including jade figurines, computers and even cars. Now, one guest interviewed by the local media estimated the party to have cost around 150,000 US dollars. But the generous birthday girl and budding philanthropist then decided to donate more than $4,000 in cash she received in birthday gifts from guests, plus $100,000 from her parents to buy clothes and winter blankets for victims of last year's Sichuan earthquake. In the wake of all the media coverage, iFung.com carried out a poll which asked respondents, does the donation make such a lavish celebration acceptable? Now, 50% answered and said, yes, it does, it's acceptable. 40% said no, and 10% had no opinion. Now, the topic also drew plenty of response online, as you would imagine. Uh, we've got plenty of comments here. One person saying, we should appreciate this girl's loving act. If all rich people could just follow her example, society would be filled with justice and warmth. The rich should regularly engage in charitable acts to teach their children through example. That's right. Another person says, this is more about showing off than it is about charity. The girl will feel proud because she owns so much and gives so much. But other people will envy her, other children, that is. And they say that's a bad influence for those other children. To a certain degree, this person says, it tells them money is the most important thing in life. OK, one more commentator saying that the charitable act is praiseworthy, but the money the girl donated really is from her parents, not from her. I'm not sure whether she understands the true meaning of what she did or if she will learn from it. That's right, and it's unclear, of course, whether it was her idea uh, to, to donate the money or whether her parents said, you know, here's something that you should do. There we go. Anyway, do stay with us. BOM News continues with Straight from the Street up next.